How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today we're going to be talking about the car capsule. Uh, what is the car capsule? Uh, essentially it is a premier way to store your vehicle if you don't have enough garage space or you just want to keep it protected from the elements that kind of stuff and uh, I've owned my car capsule now for about seven months and uh, I waited to do a video on it because I wanted to be able to give you guys a true ownership review on it uh, based on my experience and we're going to be talking about basically the five things I love about it and the five things I hate so uh, we're going to do that right now. So the first reason why I love my car capsule is that it actually fits really well in my driveway. I have an extra long driveway here. It's a little narrow, but definitely I can fit about three to four cars comfortably. Um, but you notice, even though I've got it here at the end of my driveway, there's still plenty of room for uh, somebody to walk by and uh, not interfere with the car capsule itself. So to me, that's important because I mean, if it had taken up the entire area, this wouldn't have worked at all. So I'm really happy with the dimensions. Uh, in terms of length, uh, this one is an 18 footer and uh, I think they get as small as 16 feet, but uh, for whatever reason, the 16 feet ones get scooped up pretty quick. So if you find one in stock, grab it. All right, so the second reason why I love this car capsule is simply put, see, it's filled with air. Now, What's cool about that is when you push on this, I mean, it has resistance and actually the car is in enough from the bubble where if I were to rub up against this, I'm not gonna hit the car. I mean, you really have to press into it to hit the car. It's not that much pressure, but it's enough where I think if somebody were to be walking through here, um, they're not gonna accidentally bump into the car, they'll bump into this, but as you can see, there's enough cushion to keep it safe. So that's a huge plus. Okay, so the number three reason why I love the car capsule, well, the elements. Um, it actually is a really good protective layer between the car and the outside world. Uh, today is a very windy day. Take a look here. You can see the trees really moving. That's a lot of wind moving that big, heavy tree, trust me. And, uh, you know, that means a lot of dust and debris in the air uh, to land on your nicely cleaned car. So having um, a car capsule actually really protects it, even from, uh, you know, rain, of course, snow, or anything like that you might have in your state. Um, so it's just nice to know that I don't have to constantly worry about uh, the condition of the car once it's in here. So the fourth reason why I love car capsule is actually the build quality itself. Uh, I mean, you could tell that this one is used. It's not uh, brand new. I mean, you can see some scuff marks and stuff. Um, you can tell that, uh, well, you know, of course I've got some scratches and stuff on it, but um, the material itself, I mean, I don't know if you could tell on this uh, through this camera lens here, but it's pretty thick and it's, it feels very high quality and durable. I mean, it would take a lot to really puncture this. Also, what I notice is the way you open this obviously is a zipper based system here. You can see that. And uh, you just open it that way and open it that way all the way around. And the zipper itself is very good. Um, doesn't bind or anything like that. And it's uh, thick enough where all the teeth meet perfectly every time. So, um, you know, I mean, build quality is there, um, but of course you're paying for that. So good to know that uh, it actually meets your expectations. So the last reason why I love my car capsule is quite simply put, the main reason why I bought it. And uh, just to give you a, um, a better way of thinking about this, I've tried lots of car covers before and you're probably wondering why not just buy a car cover? Well, car covers are great, especially with um, all the 
uh, super high grade materials that uh, they develop now um, for the for the elements for you know really strong winters that kind of thing. But the one thing they don't do is they don't protect the bottom of the car. And for me, what I noticed was I was having an issue finding some rat poop uh, in the engine bay of my cars. If I let them sit here for too long, sure enough, there was gonna be some sort of rodent poo in the engine bay. I know that's not great to hear, um, but uh, that was alarming enough where I decided to get more serious about how to solve that problem. And I found car capsule. Now, I will say that car capsule does not necessarily advertise that it will be rodent, uh, a rodent deterrent, if you will. But I gotta say, ever since I got it, I haven't had any problems with mice or rats or anything. So um, whether it was designed for it or whether um, they've tested it on it or not, I can tell you with confidence that for me, I haven't had any issues with it. So if for no other reason, it was worth the cost from that standpoint. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is much harder to climb in and out of if you're by yourself. You need like a friend or two to actually unzip this and roll it over the car. So I've devised this rope system up top here which connects pretty much everywhere I could get it to connect. So that way, um, basically it adds support and hopefully I could just drive it in by myself. But if you don't have friends to help you, you need something like this because otherwise, you know, you're rolling this onto the car and potentially scratching it as you do. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where uh, it could be done better. So points number one and number two are almost the same. One is getting the car out of the bubble is difficult, but getting it back in is like a punch to the gut. I mean, I really wanted to show you guys how difficult this is. So um, this is me really trying to get the car back into the bubble. And to be fair, it was a little extra windy um, this particular day, but you can see how difficult this is because not only do you have to align the car in as you drive it in, you gotta make sure not to move the wheels too much because if you do, then you know, that bottom black nylon will move and misalign everything. So then you got to pull it back out. And as you're doing that, of course, the top of the nylon is scraping on the car and, you know, you're hoping it's just not scratching anything. And I actually used, because it was so windy, I actually used um, some beams uh, that I found in my yard just to create some weight to keep the thing from moving some damn much. But once you get it in, and it's aligned, the good news is, is that you can actually get it to zipper all the way around. And I know this looks crazy, um, but uh, once it's in there and you actually zipper it all the way around, I mean, it's like this huge relief. So um, for whatever it's worth, this was probably the most difficult time I've ever had to do it, but I thought it was a good illustration of, you know, how this could be if you actually lived with it. So here's a reason why not to get the car capsule is right there. The two fans are housed underneath this uh, covering which protects them from the elements. And you can see here, the two fans sit there, they got some filters on them, but you'll notice that it needs to be plugged in. These fans are constantly on. Um, this system is not a sealed system, meaning it's not like you blow it up once and then it's good. No, air is constantly being fed in uh, for the purposes of keeping the bubble shaped, right? Um, all the air leaks out through the zipper, I guess. Um, I would be surprised if there's any holes in the actual structure itself, but it doesn't matter. The point is if you buy this, if you don't have access to a plug like I do here in my garage, then forget about it. This is not gonna be a valid uh, solution for you. And you gotta think, I mean, for me, this actually doesn't drain my, uh, my electric bill that much. It doesn't actually add, I should say, that much to my electric bill. But I think some people in different counties and depends on how you're rated, 
that could be an extra problem where, you know, maybe 20, 40 bucks a month might show up on your bill from now on, right? And that's gonna be an ongoing thing. So something to think about if you're gonna go this route. So another reason why I dislike this car capsule really has to do with the looks. I mean, look at the color, for example. I, I think it's just an ugly color um, for what it is. It, uh, I mean, I get why it's not black. Black would just attract heat and just fry anything on the inside. I get why it's not white because it'd be so reflective in the sun that it would actually be a little bit of an eyesore, like actually physically an eyesore. Uh, but at the same time, I just don't think this is the right color for it. It's not the best design. Um, now, ironically, it does match my house. That was uh, not on purpose in case you're wondering. This is just the color it comes in. So. Um, for whatever reason, uh, I like that it's tucked away in the back of my house. If this was in the front yard or somewhere where it would detract from curb appeal, I probably would have steered away. Okay guys, so the fifth and final reason why I just don't like this car capsule thing, quite honestly, it's the cost. Um, I think shipped to my house, this thing was about $900 all in. And uh, it wasn't even the one I wanted. The one I wanted was the 16 foot because I measured my car and uh, that's the that's the appropriate length that I needed for it. Um, but it wasn't in stock anywhere. And so, okay, two more feet, what's the big deal? Well, I lose two more feet in my driveway because of it all the time. And so that's a little bit annoying. Um, but when you pay, you know, almost 900 bucks um, and you see how difficult it is to, get your car in and out. If you're a solo, you're just a one person show, um, it's near impossible, right? I mean, you guys are seeing, I'm, I'm jerry-rigging things to try and get this thing to, to allow me to get my car in and out pretty easily. So, uh, God, that drives me crazy. All right, guys, so that is pretty much a wrap, right? I mean, that's the five things I love and don't like so much about the car capsule. Uh, it's a great product overall, but is it for everybody? No, <laughs> let's just be honest, it's not. Uh, you need the infrastructure for starters. Uh, it's expensive, I mean, the list goes on. But it does do what it says it does, which is really give your vehicle the most possible protection, which is great. So if that's you, if you're that one in 10 uh, like I am, um, then you'll really enjoy having this product. But for the majority of people, I think there's other ways to get by. A car cover's probably just fine. So anyway, guys, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer those. Put your questions down below. If you're new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing. And uh, there's more content coming, guys. And I'm excited to get to the next one. So catch you soon. Peace.